first thing we need to do is remove the plastic caps from the bottom of your lower control arm. Some trucks have them, some don't. Using a flat screwdriver or a pry bar, get them removed and out of the way. Taking your shorter 3 8 carriage bolt, put it in the front position of the skid and the truck. Push it through the lower control arm and put on a washer and a nut. Then taking the longer 3 8 bolt, push it through the rear position and repeat the steps with the washer and the nut. On third gen Tacomas, you will require to install your aluminum spacer between the bottom of the skid and the lower control arm. Grabbing your quarter inch bolt, put on one flat washer, push it through the skid, the spacer, and the lower control arm. Then put on your oversized washer and your nut. A note, it is much better to do this when the vehicle is on the tires and the weight is on the vehicle. This moves the CV boot away from the lower control arm, giving you much more room to install your washer and your nut. If your suspension is drooped out like this video, it can be a little tight and challenging. With all three pieces of hardware in, tighten all your bolts and your installation is complete. For second gen Tacomas, please note that the holes are in a similar position and you're using the smaller quarter inch hole in the front. There is also no aluminum spacer required for these control arms. The rest of the installation is as shown like the third gen. 